Hey, today we're going to look at importing CAD plans and modeling in interior. So to start, if we drag CAD start into Max and open it, this is set up so we can import our CAD. If we go to File, Import, and go to Library and go to CAD, and Base Interior, all the defaults will be fine. Hit OK. And here's our interior. If we press G, it will turn the grid off so we can see what we're doing better. It's best practice to move this into the center of the scene. So we turn the grid back on. We can actually move it to the center of the people. It will be worth changing the color to black. And we can also turn the grid off again by pressing G. And the first thing to do would be to check that the care plans have come in at the right size. You can do this quickly by just measuring the door width, which seems fine. You can delete the box. So now what we want to do is draw an outline and extrude it up to build the walls for our interior. To do this, we'll go over to create the shapes and use a line. If you right click on snatch toggle and make sure just vertex is selected. And have snap to frozen on, enable axis constraints and display rubber band. You can close that and turn it on. Now, when you create lines, they will snap to vertexes. So, what we want to do is draw around all the walls. We can go back and line stuff up afterwards. Close spine, yes. Do the same for this wall. I'm just using the middle mouse button to pan around and scrolling in and out with the middle mouse to zoom in. Now if we go over to modify, we can then select vertex and we'll be able to move these points by selecting them and moving them on the axis. And we can actually snap to other vertex. Make sure it's all aligned. Okay, that looks good. Now you can just extrude from CAD, but it's not good practice because some of the faces will be flipped and it won't be good for modeling later. So it's always best to draw your own CAD lines. So what we want to do now is add an extrude modifier on the modify drop down list, which is in modify. And we want to make these walls about 2.4 meters, 240 centimeters, and we'll do the same on the other wall. Now, if you press P, you're going to perspective, if you press Z, you'll we'll zoom all. And you can use the Alt and Middle Mouse button to maneuver around your scene. Now the average door height will be about 2 meters. So what we want to do for our reference is create a box which is 2 meters high. So you can quickly create a box and then in the typing we'll mm -hmm. change that to 200. So that's how high our door will be. Now, if we select the first wall we made and add an editable volley, hit attach and attach the other wall, this will all become one object. We select an edge on the 
one on each wall. And we'll hit ring. We'll select all adjacent edges. And we can hit connect. Well, next, we can hit next to connect settings dialog. You can see that that's connected all of them edges. We hit OK. We turn our snaps back on. We can do this quickly by pressing S. Just turn snaps back on. And we can use the box we made as a reference to snap to. So now this line is 2 meters high. We can turn off edge selection. We can delete the box. Now if we select polygon in the edit poly, what we want to do is delete these two faces. Change to border. Select these. So this, a border will select all open edges. And we want to hit bridge. And that will connect the two up. So there we have our door frame. And we want to do the same for the window. We'll create a new reference box about 60 high. And we'll type in 60. Now we'll select our walls. Modify polygons and we'll select the two faces on the top. Delete them. Grab the borders and we'll bridge the gap. Now we'll do the same as we did with the door. So we'll select our walls, edges, and ring. And we'll also select this edge and ring. And we'll connect. Okay, if you right click, this is the quickest way to get around move, rotate, scale, basement, select, we'll select move, and using our snaps, we'll snap to the box. Now turn off edge, delete the reference box, select the wall again. And delete the two bottom faces. Select border again, grab them two, and bridge the gap. So our room is coming together nicely. Now we'll make a floor and a ceiling. So if we select our walls, right click and hide selected, that will hide what we've just done. We press T to so go into top view and Z to zoom. And in a similar way to how we made the walls, we'll go to create shapes, line, make sure our snaps on, and we can start building our floor. We'll go back and align them. We'll just quickly snap these, close the spline, yes. Modify vertex and just make sure this is all aligned. So if you click and you're dragging, you can move to this point to snap to. So now we have our floor. All we want to do is add an extrude modifier again. This time we want to make it about minus 10. If you right click, change to move, hold shift and drag up, we'll make a ceiling, we'll make a copy. So if we press F, we'll go into the front view, Z, we'll zoom. Now we can right click and unhide all. And if we just drag this up to the top of our walls, we now have our room. Now to keep everything tidy, we'll name the three objects ceiling. We'll change the color to gray. You can hide that. And the same with the walls. Change to gray. And hide that. And the same with the floor. Okay, now we have our room. So in this lesson, 
We went over how to import cab plans and build the shell of the world.